yeah. I go by the undeniable name of Damon, never been a lame O. And it's your boy, that boy, Bari. And there is no Jay Willie the podcast killing all that poppy stuff that he says that I don't know. So yeah, yeah, yeah. we don't got none of that right now. We don't got none of that right now. But this is Willow Wednesdays where you're going to get your, your ghetto news from your relationship gurus. <laughs> Facts, 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 facts. But what's good, Dan? How you feeling, man? I feel good, man. Something like that. (laughs) Something like that. Uh, No, I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling good, man. Um, So what happened to Jay, man? He in jail? What's good? I don't know. He's a dad. He's a husband. Oh. We don't wish that on no black man, first off. (laughs) (laughs) We don't wish that on no no black man, first off. But, you know, he a dad. He's a husband. Hey, real real talk, real talk, real talk, real talk. Not for nothing. How many times have you gotten that call as a friend? Like, yo, fam, they got me. What you mean they got they got me, bro? How many times have you gotten that phone call? I got it once. I, I did get it once though, just once though. But I did get it because they know I had no damn money. <laughs> so, hey, what you calling me for? I would just suggest more other people to call. Then you shouldn't have wasted your phone call on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the wrong guy to call. I'm gonna just be like, call me for what? Hey man, said, call no. me for what? Call Bari is what you need to do. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. Bari's the wrong man for the job, kid. Don't do that. <laughs> you're gonna be jammed up for real. You know what I'm saying? I call your, I call your girl for you. I call your mom. Right. All that. I help but spread the message in the word. But, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you be like, yo, boy, I need some money on my, on my. On my on my bail, check this out, man. man. I don't get paid until two weeks. Niggas need shit every day. <laughs> Facts. I just started a new job. We can't. <laughs> you know, it's delayed pay period, so we can't do that. I don't know. I don't know. Mm-hmm. You ever been locked up though? Nope. Knock on wood. By the grace of God, never, nope. Like you ain't never been. But you ain't never been hassled by the cops or picked up, roughed up, and none of that. Come on, I'm a black man from Brooklyn, New York, baby. Okay. Fair enough. You know what I'm saying? I've been in handcuffs. Yo, what's crazy is, quick story, right? What's crazy is I've been talking out of the microphone. And I, we still heard you. Okay, That's good. Crazy. <laughs> I remember, this was years ago. This is when Jay, Willa and I was on um, this college basketball team together. I was coming home from practice, and I was dealing with my ex at the time. And the boys, as I put my key through the first door, the boys pulled up and snatched me out my building. Like, legit. I was in my building. They pulled me out my building and put handcuffs on oh, me. Shit. Like, yo, you fit the description. And I'm on the phone with my shorty at the time. And I'm like, yo, get off of me. Get off. At first, I thought I was getting lined. So you already know. Hood instincts. You like, nigga, fuck is you talking about? What's up? Right. The boys, they roughed me up, threw me against the wall, put the handcuffs on me. Mind <laughs> you, I'm outside my crib. Literally outside my crib. I lived on the first floor. You remember my old crib in East New York? Oh, yeah. I was on the first floor. Wow. I'm like, yo, can you do me a favor? Just ring the bell for my mom. We're not ringing nothing. We're not ringing nothing. Fuck out of here. We're not ringing nothing. You're going to jail because you robbed somebody around the corner. Bro, I just got off the train. I just came from school, practice. Right. What are you talking about? Shorty hung up the phone and called my house phone and called my mom and said, yo, Jabari's getting locked up outside. Mom dudes ran outside like, yo. Come to find out it wasn't me before they put me in. They was, they was on the way to put me in a squad car. The person who got robbed said, oh, no, that's not him. Mind you, they was on their way to just put me in a squad car anyway. Wow. And you already know, once they put you in a squad car and they handcuff you, because I was handcuffed, yeah. they right. just going, oh, no, we're just going to fingerprint you and process you. No, 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 no. Yeah. So thank God for that. Knock on wood. Never been processed. You know what I'm saying? Never made it that far by God's grace. So. Was you you was there when they got me right? Oh yeah, I told you what the, you should. I was already telling. I was telling you, Dame, do not let them take you nowhere. Talk about oh no, nah, we're just gonna fingerprint you. No, nigga. They no. didn't just fingerprint me at all. They fucking handcuffed me and threw me in a paddy wagon. Like it wasn't mm-hmm. no, you know, that was some. Bo- uh, you felt like you felt like a you felt like a freedom fighter. <laughs> I felt was- like a damn yo. Honestly, the paddy wagon shit was a scary. It was scary because it's jet black. And it's and no, you feel, like a you, know, you feel like a criminal for real. I feel like a criminal slash a slave. Like it was, it was weird. Like, I, like for real, we we all in the truck, 
They handcuff us, up, handcuff us to the back of the shit. We can't move. It's dark as hell. We don't know where we're going. You know. Mm-hmm. Oh, girl is in there having a damn fit. Um, like, come on. Girl. Nah, she was like, we're going to die. We're going to die. <laughs> They're going to get us. We're going to die. And I was like, okay, relax. All right. We're not going to die. <laughs> I was like, there's, there's no way this little dark ride to the police is going to kill us. Like, calm down. <laughs> We are in Brooklyn, New York. This ain't this ain't weird. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it was a little scary, but and same thing. Like you say, they were just quick to fingerprint me. Niggas was quick to just throw me in a damn system. That, that's all they wanted. Super, super fast, man. Yeah, like they right. was like, "Hey, how you doing? Put your fingerprint." But I was like, "Brian, we didn't, bro." Like we ask me my name, ask me how I feel. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. I think we what happened? Think we did nothing. It first. Nothing. Just want to know fingerprints, yeah, fingerprints, fingerprints, bro. That shit was wild. Just for you know them to be like, go, okay, man. we good, thanks. You know how that go, man. You know how that go. Just want to get you in that system. So good. Bro. So good. Oh, Don't man. stress that, though. Look at the face, though. Look at the face. <laughs> ah, you ain't got no facial right, hair. Ah, you know I was going to do it. Ah, you know I was going to do it. <laughs> that boy Barry look Hold like up. a sick girl. <laughs> Listen, all you got to know is the wave is spinning. You feel me? This is that yeah, game, right. man. You can't teach this kid. You know what I'm saying you can't teach your that. boyfriend got your boyfriend got to put a do rag and brush it for eight hours to get. That's true. You know I got to do even way more than that. So <laughs> 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 damn a do rag, bro. Damn a do rag. that? I'm just happy you my beard coming back. I've I've fought through the COVID. I cut it off. I'm growing it back. It's all good. Listen, man. It's, it was gonna happen, man. It's hair. It grows back. It's all good. It's so all good, bro. It's all I good. I ain't too worried about it. I ain't too worried about it. Um, but yeah, let man. See. Let's see. Uh, before we just get into anything, um, salute the Atlanta Braves, man. Oh yeah, facts, facts. They facts, just facts. won the World I, Series. Yeah, five minutes ago. Ten, five, ten, ten minutes ago. ago? You yeah. it. You're gonna and see it really, tomorrow. Which is really dope, bro. Being in Atlanta. Yeah. And you know the teams is winning like that's cool. This is the second city I didn't move to where the year that I moved they won. When I moved to Brooklyn, when I moved to New York, that's when the fucking Giants won. Oh yeah, hey, and you already Soon know Will is the biggest Giants fan in the world. I was we was at work at Abercrombie and Fitch, and they won. I remember when they won. First off, I remember when they were scoring a touchdown because Willa was at work folding shirts, and every time they scored a touchdown. He threw the pile of shirts that he just folded in the air and had to refold it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then when they won, he said, fuck work and walked out and was outside wow. screaming like a madman. Wow. So, Shout I know out to how that. I go. Trust me. In fact, mind Shout you, out to that. That, was, that was what, 30 degree weather, 20 degree weather in New York City at the time? So It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Shout out to that though, man. I know, I uh, I know mm-hmm. they they were supposed to win the other day when they was here. That's terrible to lose in your home and then you travel and then you win. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause we was ready Listen, for the party. Real talk. Winning a championship, you don't care what the fuck you win at. You just like fuck it. I want to chip to win. Cause you know how many yeah. people. You know how many people don't win chips, bro. That's true. You know what I'm saying I so whether I win. I did. It was late. How did that feel for you? Didn't that feel good? Uh, all one thing I will say. You had a problem with winning your chip? No, 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 no. All the hard work you did do preseason and before season, it's like, damn. Okay, it all makes sense now. Hmm. Because I remember, it's crazy. I was talking to Will the other day, and I was like, yo. I remember some days we legit couldn't even walk home. That's how how much our legs hurt. Right. But then to win the championship, it's like, you know what? I'd have probably did the same thing again just to win the chip because that moment was lit. Niggas went to the yo, it's so crazy. We won a chip. They Willa walked Willa walked in with the trip the trophy into a bar and he was just, he screamed out like, yo, we just won the chip. And the nigga at the white nigga at the bar said, Yo! Everybody drink free. Ah! Oh wow, that's crazy. So it was, it was, it was one of them type of things. The niggas got drunk because we wanted chip. Shout and out to the we, white niggas. Love it. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, Shout out to the white niggas. So it, oh, was, man. It, was, it was it was it was winning a chip is something different. So shout out to the Braves for winning that the World That's Series. Up, man. I, know, I know I know I know the club is popping. Like I knew we in Atlanta, bro. You know, you know what's what's going down, man. Like man. So yeah, um low key, we should have been out there, but we gotta be here, and, you know, cats gotta work and you know how I go. Facts. Facts. Um, all right, well yo, speaking of winning, you saw that Ali Upa threw up there. Somebody else won. Uh, yeah, this weekend, Jay-Z. yeah, man. Talk to me, mediator, moderator, roll call, Listen, selector, Smith and Bari. <laughs> shout out to the whole I'm a Brooklyn Knight at heart. Shout out to whole for getting inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Not just him, let me not even do that. LL Cool J as well. Both of them mm-hmm. got inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Tina Turner, too. Tina Turner, um, yeah, to Tina Turner, LL Cool J, whole. Um, I think who else? Was... Yeah, it, a couple more people. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. At this point, I feel like it is going to be more artists to be more hip hop artists going to be involved in it soon. But shout out to that accomplishment of whole LL Cool J because that's that's a long time coming. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And for long them to time coming, recognize hip hop. You know. <laughs> They don't recognize Nas is coming. Hey, hey, Nas is coming next. There's no way Nas is not coming next. You know what I'm saying? Um, M. Uh, I'll even say Big Pac. I, are they? No way. They already inducted into the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Uh, matter of fact, I, I I know. Yeah. I remember Snoop inducted Pac. I forgot if Biggie, but I know. And I, I know Big. Snoop. I know. I know. No, Biggie is inducted as well. Isn't so that that's too? My but, okay. Yeah. yeah, Biggie's definitely in there. But I know Nas is coming next. M got to come after him or something. Right. So they have to be in the same coming soon. That's what's so up, Yeah, that's man. a big I mean, thing. Do you think, not culture and hip and music. Do you think that the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is important? Um, Because there's no Hall of Fame for hip hop. And... The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is something that white people hold to an esteem, or let me change the word from white people to the system holds to a high regard. <laughs> then yes, it's the same thing, but it's the same thing. I just want to point out. But I, I, it sounds it sounds better. I'm so, just saying you, you because said the, same thing. <laughs> the system holds it to a high regard. Then yes, right. What I feel, just like how we with the Grammys, there should be its own. Eventually, we should have our own Hall of Fame, our own rubric or grading system so that you know what cool i was hoping i know people were hoping it was gonna be we got the ebt awards baby but people don't don't hold it in high regard as they should which i get everybody has their (laughs) reasons but right i remember growing up everyone bet was such a big thing people was like oh the bet hip-hop awards right and i remember when dudes back in the day if they want to be if they want a bet award it was like oh shit I want to be T just like the Bob Awards. Yo, a nigga won the Bob Awards. Oh shit, it's lit. Bob Awards or through the Source Awards. If you had a Source Award back in the day, that was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That was huge. So mm-hmm. now, if we if we would have kept that that same esteem or that same air about it going, then it would have been yeah. like, see how like they have the Ox- Oscars and they got the Color of Water winning every award that fucking year for a, for a nigga who can't speak, can't see, can't talk. You know what? I'm not even gonna go down that road. But yeah, I was about to take it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be that's not, a whole road, brother. That's a whole road. That's funny though. I'm good, but yeah, I, I, shout out to them nonetheless. I'm not gonna take away nothing from them brothers or that sister for winning that award or anybody who's won that award because oh shit, and uh, he, he supposedly squashed beef uh, with Dame Dash. I wouldn't say he necessarily squashed beef, but what he did okay. say, he said he. He shouted him out. He said, "Shout out to Dame." He says, "We may not, we may not necessarily see eye to eye right now, right? But you are definitely a part of my legacy, and you helped me to get here, which is a fact. Like, we're not even going to argue that. So this, oh, he said, this award is just as much as mine as it is yours, which is real shit. So shout out to whole for that. One hundred percent. Wow, good job, good job for being a bigger man over that. Yeah, I'm saying that's some real. That's gross. That's grown man shit, first off. We're not yeah. even going to sit here and make it seem like it's not. And then, from what I heard, I saw a post. I don't know how true it is, but I heard that Dame Dash wants to squash 
or in whatever feud he has with Hov. Mm-hmm. So I'm assuming re- relatively soon those two will sit down and have a conversation, which I hope they do because I feel like the moment those two have a conversation, they're two very highly intelligent brothers. There will be something that they can do together that's going to be very big and monumental for the culture. Oh, 100%. I, 100, I firmly 100% believe that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because Dame Dash is too smart and too bright of an individual to not right. have ideas right. that Paul will want to be a part of. And, you know what I'm saying? I look forward to seeing it. I wish they'd go about, you know, I wish they'd do a Rockefeller tour, actually. But, I mean, we know that's not going to happen. But how amazing would that listen, be? I would love to go to a Rockefeller listen, man, tour. Right now? I don't do concerts. I don't, I don't do concerts, but I would probably go to that. I'm I don't do concerts. Yeah, I know I don't do concerts at all, but I would right. probably go to that. I'd probably, because first off, first off, first off, well, when DMX comes out, they, well, I don't, what are they going to do with that? Because wasn't DMX also part of Rockefeller at one point? I about to say, DMX is dead. DMX ain't going to come out, bro. No, I, I know he's not going to come out, but what I'm saying, what are they going to do with that Rockefeller set? But that's what Jay said, though. He talked about that when when, when they was on... um. Rough Rider Rockefeller tour, uh, the big tour, mm-hmm. Hard Knock Life tour, Hard Knock Life tour. Mm-hmm. Um, he said that he was like, DMX will close the show, or you know, sometimes they'll flip it up and he'll close the show. And he was like, he felt weird going after DMX because DMX, you know, he's the showman, the screamer. He's he'll cry, he'll pray, he'll turn the party out, he'll do everything. You can't, the girls and, you can't, you can't like, do you nothing can't do with nothing. that. He was like, I remember, thing I, I was watching. Is, what he say? He said, "I knew I could rap better." So he was like, "It was a whole lot of cut the beat." Because <laughs> like, he's like, "I know I could Yo, rap I was, better than DMX." <laughs> that I was watching that uh that 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 shop talk shit with LeBron's um show that he got. Yeah, yeah, that's I think that's why. Yeah, yeah, that that's why he said it. Yeah. And I saw another clip where he said, "Yo, I'm, I was you know we on tour," and. He said, I forgot where we was, but he said, something just told me, yo, just, just go peek the fuck outside and see what the fuck is going on. Right. He said, yo, bro, I, I stuck my head outside the curtain. And he said, this motherfucker had the world going bananas. And he said, that's when I knew. He was like, oh, fuck. I got a problem on my hands. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? So, shoot, salute to DMX. Legend, he said that, though. Goat. He said that early on. He said, uh, two people made him want to put on the show. He said, DMX... And then once he started, see, um, I think it might have been Kanye, but he was just saying that because he was just old school, stand there and rap. You know, that's what we right. do. You want the song? Here's the song. You know, I didn't know right. he was like the girls and the lights and the this and the that. I didn't know none of that. You know, so I you got to give man. those men credit for for sure, for sure. So once again, shout out to LL Cool J to Hov for being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Shout out to Hov for being a bigger man in that situation. Yeah, you and even squashing the beat for LL. Shit. Yeah, and that's we you and I spoke about that a little while ago earlier. That that was a beat that's some real shit. And then when I saw yeah. a picture of them dap it was like when they dapped each other up laughing the way they was laughing. I'm like, you know what? Both of them niggas realized we over 40, dog. Like, why am I gonna sit here and over really 50. like over 50? Why am I gonna sit here and beef with you over some shit that you know right. what at the end of the day? It's not stopping our money. It's not like, like you it. you killed I, my I really kids like or it. whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I liked it, man. I liked it, and they and they had a beef kind of for a while, and it was crazy because their beef was it got elevated once you know he he, he joined the Def Jam. But um, mm-hmm. LL tells the story of when they were younger because um, they're roughly the same age. You know, they're roughly the same age. Mm-hmm. The only reason why LL seemed to be so much longer is this LL started when he was like 12. He was he like little bow wow kind of. Yeah, so yeah, he got he, in the game way earlier. Way earlier than most cats. So, and he was telling this story about um how he was like the thing with me and Jay was that Jay wanted to be like me, you know, like no, and he was like humbly, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to talk shit, like you know, I'm LL Cool J, I'm the young whatever. And he was like, apparently they was fake battling or something. I kind of like brushed him off or some shit, you know, just on oh, some nah, whole. Hold and you like know, like we all know whole yeah, petty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, and so he kind of like never got over that shit. Like that's, you know some, that's some that's some that's a Brooklyn <laughs> nigga for you for real. You're not about to no dog. You're not about You're to not brush, gonna brush me off, man. It's like I don't care who you are. You no, know, so. and you know what? And you know what I've realized? It's so crazy. 
being out here in Atlanta. Yeah. People even at my job, right? They say, "Yo, I could tell you from New York, and you, I could tell you from Brooklyn for real." And right. I'm like, "What you mean?" The first thing they say is like, "Yo, the way you act, you walk with a different. First off, you walk with a different ad- swag, and oh, your yeah. attitude when you talk to people is different." And I said, "What you mean?" She, girl, said, "For example, somebody was saying, I, somebody said something to me, and I was responding back to her, and the way the lady responded to me." was like she was trying to sun me, like, uh, whatever. And she said, when I when I peeped that sis was moving like that, she said automatically, I gave the look. Mind you, we got masks on. I gave the look like, word, heard you, bet. Because I, I was talking to her and she was trying to sun me, but I st- as soon as I saw that she was trying to sun me, I abruptly stopped and I right. turned away. Now, people in Atlanta don't move like that. They're going to be like, oh, I'm... You excuse me, I'm I'm up. Nah, cool. Right. You want to dub me? Bet now. Oh, what were you saying, Mister Warren? I wasn't saying nothing. I was done talking to you. Now I'm done talking to you. Right. No, I I definitely so, get that, man. Um, yo, speaking of that, man, how has it been now? You've been in Atlanta. You know, I've been in now for three months, so um, mm-hmm. I can't say I'm used to it, but I'm. It's getting better. How how you adjusting being down here? Uh. I would say it it's a little different. It's certain things yeah. that I want to do, I can't do. I'm not used to everything at seven o'clock being closed. That shit mm. blows my mind. Lord. That shit that shit blows my mind to a point where it's like, yo, what the fuck? But like, that's a mixture of it being south, but that's also a mixture of COVID too. That's that's a little bit of both. Because everybody tell me that. Atlanta, well, well, you know, the South shuts down, but Atlanta was more the turn up city, but fucking COVID, man. Until until I see it from my own eyes, I have to go off of what I see. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. What I see, y'all niggas at seven o'clock be ready to be. Y'all are already in y'all bed, like right. tucked in, ready to go to sleep. And it's like in New York, nah, we still outside. You know what I'm saying? Niggas at in seven, New York. Eight? Yeah. <laughs> Niggas is getting ready to go to their overnight job. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are we Even talking about? New York. Yeah. So, hmm. it's, so it's a that's an adjustment. Um, the people, they're real. Like, they're. I don't want to say timid, but if you look, if you look like you, you have an aggressive spirit to you. You can mm-hmm. tell they're real, like, uh. Well, I'm I'll tell you what what, what I've found, um, and, and, and look for this, because it'll be, it's it's not, two things I learned, they always try to act like Southern people are slow. They're not slow. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, slower, they're, they're slower moving, because the sense of urgency in the South isn't as, you know, high as the sense of urgency in Brooklyn, bro. But, mm-hmm. They're passive aggressive. Oh, dude. what it is is they're never. They're not they're, direct no, at all. They'll take more than a than a, a New York. Well, obviously they'll take more than a New York because New York will talk first. New York, fuck you. Oh, oh, oh okay. My yo, oh, oh, okay. You know <laughs> facts, what I'm saying? Facts, 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 you, facts. you cuss the motherfucker out first. Like, suck my dick. Suck, suck my dick. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm <laughs> Don't really suck my dick. My, I'm, my bad. You got that. You know, I said, my, you got it. You got it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Versus here, they'll take more shit. And then when they blow up, though, it's, it's the worst shit you've ever seen. <laughs> no, it's like, no, it's it's like, I'm finna burn this whole shit down. And I'm serious. Yo, what a, what a gas. Get the, get the gas. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you been holding all that in? You know what I'm saying? Because they, the the problem is, you know, when you the, the southern mentality is, you yes sir, yes ma'am. You know, I, I listen. Yes, I, sir, I respect no, my ma'am. elders. You know, you talking some bullshit right now, but I'm gonna just let that slide because I respect you. You know, it's cool. Right, 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 right. And to the point where they can't take that shit no more, and then you get your ass whooped. You know, you like he just started wailing on me, like yeah, because he was mad, but he also been taking shit for three weeks without saying something, and it's like. Nigga, you could have said something. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you'd have had no, to no, take that. Sure. 
You don't have to, you one know, I, take, what the fuck? One, no, that's a fact. And one thing I also have learned, and I had, I don't know if it was, I had to check myself on it, but at the same time as I didn't, because maybe that's just a part of who I am at this point. Mm-hmm. People from down south, like, they talk a lot. Like, yeah. and when I say talk a lot, they they offer up a lot of information early. Like, they'll just be like, hey, how's it going? My name is so-and-so. You know, I work here, and then I lived around the corner for about 30 yeah. years. Yeah. And then it's just me, my daughter, my son, my wife, and my dog. And me now, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. All right. Here's my take. Why Here's am I? Take. I'm not about to... So now, wait. So now, the conversation, they'll be like, so what's up? Well, hey, how's it going? At work. Hey, how's it going? What's your name? Oh, my name is Jabari. That's it? Yeah, no, my name is Jabari Warren. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Oh, okay, so what's going on? How long have you been here? Where you been from? Fam, me and you don't know each other. Like, And I remember I said that to somebody down. Legit. All jokes aside. I said, yo, I don't know you to have that conversation with you. Oh, no, no, no. It's just, you know, I'm just trying to make conversations. Bro, I don't know you enough to, to tell you, oh, where I'm staying. Oh, how long I've been here for. Oh, who am I staying with? No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm all right. I'm straight. So my interesting take on that is being that I'm not from uh, New York or Atlanta, mm-hmm. it's just the complete opposite. New Yorkers, to me, talk too much, too. But you got to break down that wall. That's the thing. Every New Yorker is, see that look on your face? That's how every New Yorker is looking at each other all day. And you already know, once you break the wall, the motherfuckers don't shut up. Ain't nothing worse than the wall being broken in New York. You just mugging, they mugging, you mugging. He's like, oh, you like PC? I like PC. Oh, well, well, great. Because goddamn PC, you be like, nigga, I didn't want to have all this all conversation right. with you, dog. Like, relax. <laughs> I just said, what up? You know, that's it. But the difference is here, they walk in with that energy. Like, they walk in with the talkative energy first, 100%. And what's crazy is they, like, do the opposite. It's like the more they get to know about you, the more they back up. It's so weird. Well, I haven't met that part yet. Yeah. But All that, I know I'm, is. I'm just telling you. These, it's, motherfuckers, it's the these motherfuckers off the bat was like, oh, yeah, you just moved down here. Okay. You you right. sure you good? You live somewhere? You got somewhere to stay? Because, you know, we got some. We can help you get a place to sit. Whoa. Right. I don't even yeah. know. I don't know you. Yeah. you like, it's been five minutes. You, you didn't offer me your house. <laughs> like, I don't. And it's not even like to say that's not a nice gesture, but at the same time, it's mm-hmm. like maybe it's the, like I said, maybe it's the New Yorker in me. Right. You know, I don't, tr- I, I don't trust you, bro. Like, let's let's call a spade a spade. I don't trust you. I don't know you to trust you. Right. Trust is not something that you just give. It's earned. Yo, bro, cool. You move a certain way. You behave a certain way off of certain right. things I see. Then it's like, oh, I right, can I trust you doing this? Can I trust you? These motherfuckers just be offering up their damn near social security number at the do, bat. And right? like, that's the, I mean, but you know, that's the Southern hospitality. They want to make you feel comfortable. So they put themselves out there first. Yeah. But see, this is the thing. With a New Yorker, we've been comfortable. No matter what situation we in, we good. We comfortable. We straight. I, like I said, I'm so being, now. being that I've been to both is just an interesting thing to see. It's interesting shit to me. Listen, man, you 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 got you understand that New Yorkers, we don't just be wanting to just do certain things because oh yeah, bro, why you ask? I wanted to say to somebody once, I almost say, yo, why you asking me so much questions? But I say, yo, Barry, you gotta. <laughs> you gotta... <laughs> we down here, baby. You know, we here to make you it work. Gotta... Adapt. You know I'm learning saying? how to adapt. Uh, I, you know, I, I was just all kind of shit, man. I, I was too aggressive with like women, not aggressive like fighting, them, but you know, just my mannerisms is just too. Mm. You know, I'm uh, like, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? You girls started to adopt, me, but not even like girls I'm talking to. Adopt to. New York shit. No, but not no, even I get girls it. I'm talking to or nothing like that, but just co workers. They was like, like, how come you just say what you want? And I'm like, what do you mean? You didn't say hello. How you doing? Hi. And I was like, why do we got to hello? How you fine? I'm fine too. Now, can I get the pay? What are you talking why, why did I have to do that? <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> if I was going to ask you, Yo, where the stapler? What you mean? You can't say hello? Nigga, hello. Where's the stapler? I don't understand why we gotta have them. <laughs> you see, I'll get it. But, 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 you know. but that's you that's you living in New York. 
That right. Listen, I don't have. You know what it is? Hey, we here. We had a job. We got a job to do. I don't need to be nice to you. I don't need to like you. We don't even have to ever speak. We just gotta coexist properly, right? Cool. Coexisting. Yo, fam, pass the pet. Pass the staple real quick. Got you. Cool. Boom. Yo, you got that pen? Let me get that pen real quick. Cool. Boom. Yo, the call on nine three for you. I right, bet. Cool. What? Hey, how you doing? Is everything all right? Yeah, but, you know. See, but that's the How's thing. How's your mom? And my, and my sister yeah. was trying to. My little sister was trying to explain this. My little sister is from Mississippi and um, and and Atlanta. She grew up in these parts, and she was trying to tell me that it's, it's like how you know how like you can be in a different culture and you can do something that's disrespectful and you don't know it. Mm-hmm. It, it was like to not have those conversations. How you doing? How your mom and them and all that? It's seen as disrespect. Dog, yeah. I'm not a but what. I'm, You're not, I'm and mind you, that ain't your intent. Right. But. I'm my this is my thing, right? And tell mm-hmm. me if I'm wrong. I'm all for compromising people in terms of what you're used to and things like that. But at the same time, if this is me, right? And I'm walking into the situation and I I'm not being rude. I'm I'm legit saying, Hey, can I get the can I get the stapler? Hey, can you do this at a job setting? Not oh, you're my girl. I'm we fucking or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. trying to get to know you. We're legit just at work. No, no. I'm right. sorry. No, I, that's no excuse because I'm not here. To, I don't want to be your friend. What if I don't want to talk to you? What if I don't like you? But, but still, go it's this. it's kind of like you know you you. It's just things are cultural. If you're in the army, you gotta address yes sir. No, sir. What if you don't care about saying, sir? I'm with you, but you in the army now. You know, you no, just gotta that, do what the culture is. But you but you know what you signed up for in terms of the army. Whereas now you move down here, you move down here, you don't have you you don't have to adapt to some in terms of living, you don't have to adapt to anybody. As long as you're not violent in somebody's personal space and boundaries, I don't feel like you don't but, gotta adapt I mean you still well, I mean, but they call it Southern hospitality for a reason. You know what I'm saying? You you did accept this. The minute you moved out lie. of Brooklyn, bro, you accepted it. <laughs> like I ain't gonna lie, Southern hospitality is annoying and it's kind of intrusive, if you ask me. <laughs> and true? yeah, bro, it's a whole lot of motherfuckers just in your business all the time. <laughs> bro, like why you yo dog? I be at work sometimes and niggas be wanting to just talk, and I be like, right. yo, I be wanting to say, yo, and this is me not being a New Yorker. I be wanting to say, yo, why are you talking to me? Like, I don't want to. I'm clearly here just to do a job. I don't want to go about my business. You want to make friends. You want to, hey, right. what's up, yo, fam? I don't want to talk to you, bro. That's Leave me funny. alone. If I want to talk to you, I would have clearly said something to you when you first started talking to me. It's five, ten minutes. It's ten minutes now, and I haven't said one word yet. Why are you That's still funny. talking to me? This is my hey, point. Man. So, that Southern hospitality thing is like, bro, I'm Don't all for Don't run from the people that want to love you, man. I'm not running from people who want to love me. But you also <laughs> got to understand if I want my... You know what it is? I feel like people don't know boundaries in space, especially Southern hospitality. You got to... When it comes on to people from, from the East Coast, the Upper East Coast, the Northeast, we're not as trusting, right? So because we're not as trusting, you have to understand, hey, you know what? This is our culture down here, which is fine, but yeah. this is how I've lived my whole life. So now what I'm you gonna, need to you, do... Listen, you got to adjust the same way I had to adjust with y'all rude-ass niggas in New York because it was because I came from that. a place that was the Leave opposite. Leave me alone. No, Leave no, no, me no. Alone. I just, and and uh, we can move on. I don't want to drag it, but I, just, I had to have that adjustment myself. Um, I remember the first time I walked in. Probably told y'all this story. The first time I walked into Popeyes on Utica, you know the mm-hmm. one, Popeyes yeah. on Utica, and um, I literally, when it was my turn, I walked up to the lady and said, "Hey, how you doing?" And she looked at me and was like, "You gonna order?" And I was like, I felt disrespected at first because I didn't know that that was the culture. So I instantly went to. This bitch got beef. Oh, wow. I even said the B word. Woo. <laughs> I don't even say the B word. But you understand? I think it's not. But you see what I'm trying to say? Like, it was that bad. I was like, she, like, are you disrespecting me? No, no, I me? know what you mean. 
Because I'm just saying, hey, how you doing? I expected to say, hey, how are you? Welcome to Popeyes. Can I help you? Because that's what they say in the rest of the fucking country. But no, not in New York. York, This if you are you gonna order? So yeah, you holding up my you holding up my line. You holding up my line, my nigga. Way about that. Listen, bro. You holding up my line. I don't have a shot glass or nothing. Damn. You holding up Uh my line. There's ten other people behind you. What do you want to eat? Be ignorant. That's I'm gonna it. take my shot because I did it, but I'm just taking it out. That's it. That's it. Forget it. That's it, Poppy. That's it. You take a shot. Forget it. But that's it. But um, yeah. Like I said, I felt disrespected, and it's just because I didn't understand the culture. But then ten years of that shit. Now I'm the rude motherfucker. So when I go to other places, <laughs> and I walk in, and I'm like, I'm like, yo, what, what the cheese at? And she's like, hello, sir. I'm like, oh, what the motherfucker, hello, nigga, where the cheese? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's just cultural. Bro, I get it. I be at work quiet as a mouse because I don't know you. I'm not talking to somebody I don't know. And these motherfuckers be here like, hey, ho. I met a girl who's from the, she's from the Bronx at my job. And sis be like, yo, bro, trust me, I get it. I completely understand. That shit annoys the shit out of me. She said it annoyed the shit out of me when I first got here. I said, for real? She was like, yo, bro, these niggas just be wanting to, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Especially when they know you from New York. Right. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Fam, if you don't move from me, like COVID is not real. What's up with you? That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. Yeah. That's funny. Well, yeah, yeah man. Um, at the end of the day, it's gonna be an adjustment. You down here now, you know what I'm saying? I Working down here, I ain't worried about it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We gonna have to adjust, and it's a weird transition to to go from half southern hospital because Chicago is still mean as hell. <laughs> so it's hard to go from half to full asshole to <laughs> super nice. Like I'm, I, I, I don't be knowing what's disrespect or what's not, bro. I, <laughs> Shit, I'd be mad at everybody. <laughs> Let alone the other aspect Fuck. that I can't point out out loud, but I know you know what I'm talking about. That other aspect, uh, brother, brother, brother. Listen, All right. No, you can you can speak on it. And I haven't even lot. yo, hey, true say. I haven't I haven't seen a large uh, uh population of, of 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 the LGBTQ community down here. Like I really haven't. Everybody makes it seem like Atlanta is 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 a, is a high abundance of them. There's a big population. I haven't seen it. I've just seen. I've just been seeing black people. Shout out to that. I've been seeing number black people. I'm glad you have an open mind. Um, it's going to be a lot of people that's happy that you have an open mind. Happy no, that it's going to be a lot of people seeing black people. It's going to be a lot of people happy that you just see them mm-hmm. as black people. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Cause I promise you, I don't see none but black people chilling, Walmart, uh, fucking Chick Fil A. Why is y'all line so goddamn long at Chick Fil A? You know, I agree. I agree. Chick Fil A is not. Yeah, that not it's, it's all right. No, Chick Fil A is real good, but it's like, yeah, but it ain't, damn, like, it ain't. It ain't thirty five minute long line wait. Bro, wait. like you know the I mean? line like, is good. the line be out the parking lot, dog. We not even. You know what? We not even gonna get into that because <laughs> I go on another rant about Chick Fil A being that goddamn long down and, here, and it's a Chick Fil A everywhere, which is like, it, they're all over. They're really all over, bro. I don't know if you didn't drove and seen, but and, you know what? We gonna get out. I'm gonna have to show you every. They got Chick Fil A's like like McDonald's. There is so many fucking Chick Fil A's. I'm like, this not. It's all right. It's a grilled chicken sandwich. Relax. We're not even gonna get into that, bro. Because I promise you, the, the how long I waited for. And mind you, I waited for a fucking salad because you know I don't eat meat. How long I waited for a fucking salad? My head. It's a lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> it's cut up lettuce, bro. It's <laughs> lettuce, some carrots, some beans, That's funny. and some grape tomatoes. That's funny. Oh, well, and a couple I, I don't want to just, just bag on the South, but the sense of urgency in restaurants, hilarious. Like, they, okay. Now, I want to compare it to the sense of urgency in New York. In New York, niggas don't care. 
So that's what it is. It's like I just don't give a fuck. I don't want to be here. Whatever. You know? That's fire all. me. Go ahead. I dare you to fire right, me. Right, fire right. me, please. <laughs> fuck it. I get another job. In Atlanta, then, it's like it's like lacks of days. It's, it's just like Bro. Yo, you, you know what's crazy? I'm a, you know, I'm it's a like example, all right, right. Let me go to the back and see. Yesterday. Yesterday right. at work. <laughs> like, I'm, gonna bro, wake up. <laughs> I'm gonna give you an example. <laughs> The store opened. I was on my break yesterday. Store opens at eleven. It was one thirty, right? I mean, mm-hmm. the store is open for a minute. Ain't nobody in there. And I walked into the lady saying, "Yeah, we have no more orders left." They did all their Grubhub orders, whatever. Cool. I say, "Hey, okay, let me get a salmon with mashed potatoes and mac and cheese." Cool, right? What's wrong with you that? Think- it's in um, downtown Atlanta. No, but like, is it a little generic? Yeah, it's a little. It's like a. It's a like a. It's. It's like a, a family type restaurant type thing. Okay, I'll show you the menu. I'll show you the menu. So I'm like, so. Okay, go ahead. As I wait, I'm like, all right, cool. How long is it gonna take? Because I know the mac and cheese is already pre-made. The mac and potatoes pre-made. Only thing you gotta cook is the salmon, unless you pre-make the salmon too. She's like, okay, no, it shouldn't take more, more than five, ten minutes because salmon take salmon really don't take that long to cook. It don't, it don't take long. Yeah. Bro, I was in that motherfucker for about a forty-five minute, half hour, forty-five minutes, bro. Mm. Spinning around just uh, uh. and I'm like, yo, ma'am, like, I gotta go to work. And she's like, Oh no, no, just give it two more minutes, baby. I'm so sorry. I'm just she's like, Why are you such in a rush? Oh my god. She's like, Where you from? I'm married from New York. That's why you just gotta slow down, baby. I said, no, I don't gotta slow down nothing. I gotta go to work. Right. Why are y'all taking so long to cook a salmon? Right. Like, what's up with you? It's like, are y'all are y'all fishing the salmon? Like, are you? <laughs> you gotta fish it, skin it. You gotta fish it. it. <laughs> How would you? Yeah, nah. Just a sense of urgency. The sense of urgency, man. I. It's 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 just it's to the point now. Where I forget. You know, I'm so I, ten years in New York. I just forget. I, I went to Qdoba. I found a Qdoba in the city. Went to Qdoba, and that's what happened. Walked in the line. I'm like, hey, how you doing? What's, hey, you know, I usually be like, hey, yo, hey, okay, cool. I want to, um, he was just like, give me a minute. I was like, okay. This minute turned to two minutes. <laughs> minute turn- At one point, I'm like, ain't nobody else mad in this? But then I'm like, that's right, I'm down here. So everybody in the line was just chilling. They was like, well, you know, that's how it be. And I was like, no, this ain't how it be. <laughs> like, this motherfucker need to hurry up. <laughs> like, in New York City, New York City, you got to be in and out quick. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, especially a place like Qdoba or Chipotle. You know how the Chipotle shit is. Come on. It's like you son, walk in, like, what we... you want, you move over, you pick your thing, you scoop, you scoop, you scoop, you scoop. Yeah, bro. Why are we man. over here taking an hour to do something yeah, that's man. five minutes, bro? Like, but that's this wild. is what I'm saying. That one thing I hope, one thing, and like you said, I'm not here to bash the South, right? But one thing oh, I hope and I pray to, I, one thing I hope and pray to, to to keep, and when I have children, and if they're yeah. born and raised in Atlanta, I hope to instill in them is a sense of urgency. I don't mm-hmm. that sense of urgency thing to me. Shout out to New York City for giving it to me and breeding it in my my blood and my bones, because I promise you. That shit makes I see people move like that. It's like, yo, you don't got my mom used to always say, yo, you don't got nothing to do. She said, like, that's the thing that she would say. Like, if she ever seen me moving slow growing up, or she'd be like, yo, you don't got nowhere to go, you don't got nothing to do. You moving like you don't got nothing going on with you. And I'd be like, No, I do. She's like, So move with some life in your body. People down here legit move like they just well, you know, I'm just I think it's funny because happy to be here. The, the one thing I know, I think me and you are the most what was it we were talking about the other day? The most lacking of sense of urgency type people. Like we 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 probably move the slowest out of everybody we know when it comes to that. Out of out of all of our friends, yeah. We out of all chill. out of all of our friends. If they yeah, say let's the go get, if they say let's go do some. We the lit. Yeah, we the ones like Ugh, all right. But for yeah. it to be worse than that, <laughs> like down here, yeah, that's a lot. You know what it is? I have a sense of urgency for things that I need to be urgent for. Everything else is like, all right, I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm at if I'm at work, 
right? Whether no matter what job it is, cool. If I'm making your food or I have to take your order, yo, what's next? Cool, boom. Right. Uh, yo, what what you want? I got you. Yo, fuck around me on two registers. Yo, I take your order, take your order, cool. Boom. You want a steak you. and mac and cheese? You want some shrimp quesadilla? Cool. Twenty one dollars, thirteen dollars. Boom. Ding ding. We doing both things at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They be out here like, oh, uh, how much did you give me again? You gave me a twenty, right? Hey, how much is uh seventeen from twenty? Okay. Yeah, I, I owe you three dollars. Let me go get the change, please. Yo, dog. I don't. I'm not hungry no more. I'm not hungry. I got I'm used. Not. I'm getting used to it. it. It's a weird thing, but I'm getting used to it. I will never. I will never. You know what it is? Because I've lived in New York my whole life. I don't think I will ever get used to it, because of the simple fact that it irks. It irks my soul so much. Like mm-hmm. it irks me. It's like, yo, bro. You. You know what it is? New York City has bred me because I played ball my whole life. If you never went out and go went to go get it and got it and and really like clawed for some shit and you've had to do that for sports, you've had to do that for work, that's just survival in New York, you wasn't gonna make it. So now seeing motherfuckers out here just move like that, like, oh yeah, you know, I'm just they wouldn't survive in New York. That's why a lot of people who move from Atlanta to New York, they come right back. Because they yeah, can't handle it. A lot of people don't like New York because they, they can't hack it. You know, they can't they're not gonna fight, you know. Um I fought. And you know, but, you know what I'm saying, but but that but as a South man, you're one of the few. Whereas now yeah. New Yorkers come New Yorkers come here. Oh no, it's lit. It's go time because oh you you don't wanna you don't wanna move to the front of the line. I'll move to the front of the line for you. Shit, right. You took Right. You can right. no 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 stay right there. You good, you don't, don't worry you about good. It. You good, you wait, you wait, you wait till it comes your way. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. just go ahead and take this and be out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because I you fuck around and wait till tomorrow, and then right. tomorrow's gonna come and then you're gonna be like, oh, you want to go? Go ahead, yeah. Southern hospitality. Go ahead, yeah. Don't worry about it. And then you be mad when somebody else eating. So mm. that down south shit, I hear you, I hear you. But to me, to me, and I'm about to sound crazy to say it, but I think that's a slave mentality. Oh no! It, oh, it it's that oh, that. I feel not the not the, the not the southern hospitality part. The 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 the, the lack of urgency, allowing oh, somebody no. else to come in front of you and just do that because hurts. oh no don't don't no do baby don't don't worry about it you got head no my nigga you have something you want to do go do it. I Period. disagree with that. I disagree. I just feel that no. I did no no. no, no. It's just, it's just in the middle. I'm in the middle. I just think it's it's. You too, can't you like, can't tell me I'm bugging though. You can't tell me I'm bugging though. I, no, I, I don't think you bugging. I just think it's it's two sides of the same coin. I, I think if, and what I'm starting to learn now is it takes both. You need you need the go get a hustle and you know wake up early, run fast to be there before everybody else. But then that person always fuck up or miss things. You also need True, sure. the person that's slower and more lackadaisical and more um, acute because that's the one thing that I do like about Southern people because when they know they shit, they know they shit. Yeah, it may that's take, true. That's it, may, true. it may take forever for them to say it to you. <laughs> You'd be like, nigga, it. Like, say what you're saying when you say it. <laughs> like, but, I'd be so lost when they be talking. They'd be like, all right, dog, you know what I'm saying? Dog, I'd be like, but huh? motherfuckers is yeah. on point. And that, and that's one thing. That's why I say they're not slow, not slow. It's just it's a, they just move at a slower pace. The pacing is slower, but the knowledge and the and the truth part. I would I would I better keep puppy. Come on, let's go. Like I need you to have a little more life in you, dog. Like faster you know always like, better, man. Faster ain't always better. Like, no, that's true. Yeah. But I don't know. Faster maybe, always like better. Maybe. But growing up, you know what it is? Like, it's a growing up thing. It's a cultural thing. Like I said, growing up where I grew up at, you oh, needed to be moved. You needed to be moving at a certain pace because if you didn't move at a certain pace, you would have got lost in the system. You would have got left behind. You would have never made it. I would have probably never made it to where I'm at now if I didn't get off my, move my feet. You know what I'm saying? And it's a good lesson. do what I got to do. I, um, I think everybody at some point should live in New York, even just for a few years. I just I think New York is to me New York is life on um it's on hard 
it's like it's life on a hard level on a video you know, game yeah you know how you put the video ultimate level is ultimate is level is new york because what happens is you grow up thinking that the world is that ridiculous because you you lived your life on hard your whole life but in real life the world is not this fucking ridiculous bro it's just not <laughs> like it's not right right, right that's right, why right. i be bugging i'm like why the fuck is driving down the street the whole san andreas video game it's like why is it a crackhead a baby a truck a dog a bed and you know it's crazy like why you, but you're like i'm going across the street to get some milk right a simple and you thing. know it, why is it life and you when know you it's walk crazy. outside it's the Jewish people, the Jamaican people, the dollar van, the old lady, the crackhead. The the, you're like, why? <laughs> you know what's crazy? New York City is claimed to be the one of the safest cities in a, in America. And I'm like, where what what census, what 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 people are what people are you asking? Because New York City still to this day is probably one of the most dangerous cities in America. And I like you said. And that's why I'm saying, like you said, New York City is life on hard. You, it, you, I promise you, you could go outside New York City and we'll get robbed, lose your house, lose your car, and lose your job all in the same day. It's just hard, man. And it's so weird because when you grow up in that, you get used to it being that way to the point where if you go somewhere else, what you don't realize is the rest of the world is like East Point Atlanta, bro, where, where we live is it's calm. It's like 90% of the country. You know what I'm saying? Like, like only Brooklyn and New York is like that. So it's like, so to have that attitude, you're the asshole else. now. You know what I'm saying? You're the asshole. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. you. It's not the rest of the world. What they say on the, <laughs> was that Philly or the Miz? You. It's you. You. It's you. No, it, it's, it's your shit. New York City. You. New York City has New York life is living in New York City has bred bred me, bred all right. people from New York to live life video game level hard. So now all of a sudden we go everywhere thinking life hard. And, and it's like, not. Wait a minute. Rent and is it's... only six hundred dollars. Right. <laughs> yeah. Look, and they didn't run my credit to get it. <laughs> and I don't gotta <laughs> like... share. I don't gotta shit. I don't gotta share a kitchen and a bathroom with motherfuckers. Nick. And I can get a car and go buy groceries. Yes. I still have money <laughs> left over to chill. This is why I was so tight in New York. I had an and, apartment for and, and I got keep time to get a second job. And I got time to get a second job like I'm used to in New York and make even more money. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no! Welcome to Atlanta, where the players play and they ride on things like every day. <laughs> That's the point, bro. <laughs> That's my fucking point, man. You talk Not about the York. last days, but they chilling because they ain't got to fight with life so goddamn. They ain't got to fight with no. all of the, the dollar vans and the crackheads and the, the fucking what? Listen, so. New York City. But you know what? I am glad I grew up where I grew up first. Because yeah. It, it bred a it bred tough skin you know what i'm saying and but you you live in things. now you'll be able to cheat you live in Yo, new york the... gave you that same thing you lived in new york for 10 years now Ten years? you have now been considered a new yorker so because of that now mm-hmm. you have developed the new york thick skin which means like you like you know what this ain't that bad yeah I could take pretty much whatever, bro. If you if you could if I could pay eight hundred dollars and live with roommates, six people, you know what I'm saying, in and out, sharing a bathroom, you, bro. I yeah, I can take a regular apartment paying eight hundred and two bedroom. Oh no, <laughs> like, oh god, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo. so yeah, nah, it's, mean, but... it's all good, man. It's all good, um, but. Man, was there anything else? No, that's pretty much it, uh, bro. Yo, lazy ass, man. You like, all right, bro. Well, listen, bedtime. Listen, listen. <laughs> yeah, bro, bro, you see that clock, you know what I'm saying? All right. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, we can keep it short. You know, I ain't got to do nothing crazy, man. Um, For people that just enjoyed the conversation, man, like, subscribe. Facts, please. And leave a uh, comment. 
leave a comment if you agree, you disagree. Section. We talking crazy. We talking good shit. Ter- like terrible shit. Like um, unlike. Subscribe. Definitely, man. Um, we have All some like more uh, music video reviews on the way because uh, Facts. people love those, man. Um, yeah, we got say, uh, again the other day. For yeah. Yes, video. Um, the, the yeah, the person was like, "Oh, you didn't have to insult them," and I'm like, "We didn't insult the gentleman." Well, I legitimately, the gentleman looks like a girl. He right. Did, but, but the, what the person is trying to say is that if the individual is handsome or a good looking person, why can't the man call another man handsome? And I'm like, I'm not saying the man is not handsome. I, I didn't, That's it not, had yeah, that wasn't calling a man handsome. Yo, make sure we tag did, BTS just, people on this one because I want them to hear this part because this is a good explanation for yeah, some shit that I'm like, not, I didn't know. I'm we, not, I'm not but, I wasn't making, I wasn't trying to make light of him. I wasn't trying to call him anything but just say, hey, I thought there was a girl because we, yeah. growing up where we grew up, where I grew up, there are legitimate women that look like that and i thought it was a woman it wasn't trying to be funny yeah no I, so but now, i agree with you i i wanted I, I want to believe that i was the first like i believe i brought it up i said oh that's a girl and I, I agree and i said i said the same shit. i followed up and i was like yeah i think that's a girl and then when we found out that it's all boys it's like oh shit. yeah no I, it's just that, that he he looked very feminine has nothing to do with <clears throat> handsomeness or attractiveness it was just like you look you look very feminine, very feminine features. And in my head, I'm like, well, damn, maybe that is a woman. That was all. I I didn't I didn't know. But but so. here's the thing. People people equate when a man looks like a woman, feature wise, that means he's handsome. Which I'm not I I, I don't personally know about that. I haven't gone in depth uh, with I it. I don't know about that one, but I, I okay. But, if that's one of the like if that's something that can make a man handsome, okay, I'll give you that. You know. Fine, because I don't know what the fuck you know, but, like, man. Handsome. I'm just saying. On that BTS yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. I really thought it was. It's like six of them. I thought it was like four dudes and two girls. I'm not gonna lie. Right. I'm sorry. My bad. But nonetheless, thank you for watching with the Wednesdays. Tune in, like, subscribe. Yeah, tell man. A friend to tell a friend. And we out of here, y'all. Peace out. We out. Holla. Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning into Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate thanks, the support. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, yes, yes. And click the bell for notifications. Mm-hmm. And make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Peace.